what's happening here? <laughs> Hello, what's going on here? Uh, uh, anyway, listen, uh, we've all done it, haven't we? We, we? We've woken up in the morning, uh, gone, to gone to work and thought, this, this isn't where I want to be. God, have I had that feeling? Eh? Have Hello? I or have I had that feeling? Can you snap in? <laughs> but how, how many people really quit a job, a nice, safe, stable job? Especially when the job you have pays a very tidy salary, would you quit to take on a job paying the minimum wage instead? <laughs> Hayden Jones met a man who's done just that. He found him at Piccolo Morso Cafe in lovely New Plymouth. Mornings go real fast because it's just pumping out coffees. Dave Grant doesn't have a lot of time to ponder his recent life changing decision. Um, I'll probably give that an 8 out of 10. He's a barista. I wasn't sure if I was going for the fern or the hut. It's probably like a tulip. I'm definitely not a coffee snob, but I can tell when it's a bad one. A wee while ago, Dave was a doctor drinking a coffee with another doctor and dreaming about a career change. We just started talking about how it'd be quite cool to learn how to make really good coffee because it's quite a good skill to have. Well, Dave did it. He quit medicine and a nearly six-figure salary yeah. to make coffee. I thought it would be a good challenge to try and like be a bit more wise with my money. His parents were stunned, but understand. They said all the right things, and I believe them. I think they're fine. Dave's ex-colleagues now trek across town, curious to see how he's getting on. Uh, I think it takes a lot of courage and it's inspiring. <laughs> I think a lot of them wish that they could do the same thing. Greg's a doctor too. He also tried to change careers. He was too tall. I've always actually dreamed of um, being an astronaut, um, but I think I was actually, um, I passed the height requirement or something like that when I emailed NASA about it. So. <laughs> it actually wasn't easy for Dave to become a barista. He got turned down. Lots. His ego took a hammering. It was real humbling. I was calling my sister and my family for support every day. Emotional support. I think I went to about 15 cafes before I got this one here. Lou Smith eventually took him on. He's amazing with customers. He really um, interacts with them and draws them in. Go. Today's regulars have become friends, even if they do try and sneak the odd medical question. I came in here with a um, pretty sore leg a few weeks ago, so I get a few tips on the side with my coffee. <laughs> The truth is Dave Grant actually needed a break. I had to, I did six years at uni and then a couple of years in the hospital and I, I felt like I wasn't doing it well, I was just getting a bit run down. 16 hour days, sometimes 12 days in a row, he was done. So I feel like this was like a change that I needed to make. Dave will go back to medicine one day. GP would be definitely one of my options. He'll return a doctor with some perspective. I miss that depth that you get with your patients, like you get to know them really well. After all, we all lust for that dream job. Maybe they'll build um, space shuttles that um, house taller folk like myself. But for now, many of us have to settle for a good coffee. I'm a, usually a genuine coffee critic, and um, <laughs> this is um, rates up there probably top five when you find it. Maybe even your luck's in a great coffee. Best coffee in town. <laughs> out this weekend. Exactly, you're going there, aren't you? You, you're going to be doing, what are you doing? You're doing some coffee now? You're going to be a barista? What are you up to now? Well, well you then. joke, but actually, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> since I, since I announced earlier this week that I was leaving the show, I've sort of been looking at other people's jobs and thinking, hmm. Oh, you're liking those? What would you do if you could do anything, do you see? No, I was looking at those rubbish men come past this week and I was thinking, gee, they keep fit, wouldn't they? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. it's good oh, so you're going go to you're gonna hit the gym and yeah. get all buff yeah. and then... Who knows? Yeah, no. Well, I've got to quite enjoying uh, looking forward to just not having to think about it for a while. I think mm. that's part of the fun and probably part of what attracted that guy to being a barista as well. You know, just turn your brain off for a little there bit. Is something, there is something wrong with that, though, though. I mean, you know how hard it is to get into med school. Yeah. And, you know, and then suddenly you throw it all away. Six mm. years of study. Six but years of study to go make a few mochaccinos. Yeah, that's true. You can have all this yeah, money, be doing point. lots of stuff and just not be happy. Sorry, viewers were too deep. That's too deep for a Friday. <laughs> Sorry, <isn't> probably. <laughs> okay, we'll soon fix that because next on Seven Sharp, I meet Batman. <laughs>